My name is Adrian Jarecki, I'm a junior, and I fence Sabre. So the Sabre is a cavalry weapon, um, and it used to be used um, when men were atop of a horse. Um, so that's why the target area is from the waist up. Um, so it is an extremely quick weapon, um, and the person, all it takes to um, get a touch is to hit the other person, the light touch. However, um, the point is given to the person who is um, attacking, the person who is going forward. The saber is the medium-sized weapon. Um, it's probably um, medium weight as well. Um, and what makes it different from the other two weapons is the fact that it's a slashing weapon, not um, a thrusting weapon. So all you have to do um, to hit the other person is literally touch them, as opposed to um, thrusting the weapon, which would be, like, an analogy for that would be if you have, like, a pen, you need to kind of click the pen in. Um, so the saber, you don't have to do that. You literally just have to touch the other person. I'm Claire Denoud. I'm a sophomore and I'm an FA fencer. Epe is actually the word for sword in French, so Epe is a descendant of the dueling sword, so descendant of the rapier as well. Epe is the heaviest weapon because of its um, large bell guard, and what makes it unique is that you can actually, both opponents can hit at the same time and get a touch at the same time. So if you hit within the same 1 25th of a second, both, opponent, both opponents get a touch. I'm Liana Yamin, I'm a junior and I fence foil. Foil fencing has the smallest target area and it's also, I'd say, the smallest blade and it's the most flexible. It started off as a training weapon because it was uh, allowed for the most precision and really focusing in on where you're hitting and how you're hitting. Uh, foil, uses, foil fencers generally use a pistol grip um, which allows you to wrap your fingers around it so you can really focus in on just like your fingers controlling where you're going and the difference between winning and losing a touch could be um, an inch sometimes. And foil allows for the most creativity in how you go about getting the touch. There's, even though the target area is the smallest and it's the most precise, there's so many different ways you can hit and different traps you can set up and things to um, trick your opponent with.